Hey Internet, welcome back to my house in Strongsville, Ohio. Um, as you can tell, I'm pretty excited about the holidays. Um, I've really decked out my workspace uh, with some Christmas cheer. Uh, as you can tell from my mood lighting, um, I've got on a pretty festive gray zippy today. Uh, I'm feeling uh, especially jolly, I feel. Did I say I feel twice? That means I must really feel especially jolly. Oh, here we go. Sorry about this. Yeah. Check the admissions on that, buddy. You know? Let's get to that intro. Hey, folks! It's Keith Gerbrink again, publisher of Compact Equipment. Apologies for that intro. Um, I clearly have a Dreams Time account with unlimited access to green screen animation. I uh, will promise never to do that again. This year. Alright, back to Machine Heads. Okay, in this episode, like in the last one, we're going to be covering the Innovative Iron Awards. In our November-December print issue, uh, we always cover the best equipment released in that year. In 2020, we have a ton of cool new machines to cover. In this episode, we're going to cover three different ones. One from Toro, one from Caterpillar, and one from Snorkel. Uh, we're going to be big on backhoes, compact utility loaders, and telehandlers, and also electrification. So let's start off with Snorkel. They released the first electric telehandler in the market. And so obviously, that's an award winner. Let's get into it. The Snorkel SR5719E is the world's first and only electric compact telehandler. Powered by 80 volt lithium ion batteries, this unit can perform continuously between charges for up to six hours. The SR5719E delivers a maximum lifting capacity of 5,732 pounds and a maximum lift height of up to 19 feet, maneuvering with four wheel steer and then three steering modes, front, crab, and coordinated. Built compact at just six feet, two inches wide, the SR5719E offers low noise and zero emissions suitable for both indoor use or for using outdoors in low emission zones such as city centers. The onboard single phase charger provides a full charge overnight, while offboard charger options are available for fast charging capabilities up to 2.5 hours for a complete charge. The SR5719E delivers a reduction of up to 60% in operating costs over the diesel equivalent. Bonus, a universal skid steer attachment plate is available. Very cool machine. We're already seeing other people come out with electric uh, telehandlers. We saw uh, JLG had uh, teased one at Con Expo. We know that JCB just released one to the American, the global market, as well as the American market. So, but uh, kudos to Snorkel. They were the first up, and uh, we're excited to see that machine out in the field. Okay, next up, we're gonna stick with electrification. Uh, next up is Toro. Toro entered the electric market with a compact utility loader. Also called a compact tool carry, depending on who you are. Uh, but this machine is very cool, so let's talk about it. Battery power propulsion is thankfully becoming an important option for compact earth moving equipment and tool carriers. While electric mini loaders have been the bread and butter of brands like Sherpa, Toro made a major step into the electric powered equipment marketplace with the introduction of the new Toro eDingo 500 compact utility loader. The eDingo allows end users to realize all the benefits and power of a small standard compact utility loader with no fuel costs and zero exhaust emissions. It's ideal for indoor construction, especially with those white non-marking tires. It's powered by lithium ion battery technology, boasts both an auto idle feature and max operating capacity of 515 pounds, and it utilizes Toro's four Paul independent four wheel drive system. Plus, it's compatible with 10 dingo attachments from buckets to breakers to blades. Badass. Electrification obviously becoming bigger in America, and this pleases me greatly. Um, obviously, bigger in Europe, uh, where they have uh, stricter emissions regulations, uh, noise regulations, uh, kind of more cramped job sites, more indoor work, uh, and maybe just a greener attitude. Um, so, I'm excited to see that come to America. So, kudos, Toro. Kudos, snorkel, keep up the good work. Okay, next up, we're moving away from electrification and we're getting into backhoes. Caterpillar, one of the best brands in the world, obviously, uh, released one of the best backhoes in the market this year with its 420XE. I mean, it released a lot of backhoes here this year, so let's get into this. Caterpillar announced five new backhoe loaders operating in the 14 and 15 foot size classes in 2020. These units offer updated operator stations, new tier four final engines, selectable power management modes, vision link, and beyond. The 420XE model specifically combines a unique range of integrated hydraulic tech. Seat mounted control stay with the operator as they spin from loader to backhoe. 
Operator control modes allow the unit to be tuned to skill set or preference. Adjustable joystick response and hydraulic modulation is available through the all new LCD touchscreen. Electronic loader controls allow true parallel lift and programmable kickouts like return to dig, which automates operations, and selectable power management mode for a choice of standard mode engine performance for increased fuel savings or standard plus mode to boost machine performance by maximizing backhoe implement speeds. This unit has it all. 420XC, just a super cool machine. I mean, these are all super cool machines and that's why we're honoring them. Uh, so congrats to Caterpillar, congrats to Snorkel, uh, congrats to Toro. Um, if you wanna learn about similarly cool machines, feel free to surf over to compactequip.com. Uh, that's where we post five times a day about all types of equipment. Uh, you can sign up for our print magazine there, which goes out 10 times a year. You can sign up for our e-newsletter, which goes out twice a week. Um, you can sign up for this video series, which happens when I get the time to shoot them. Um, so until then, be safe, be productive, and we'll talk soon. Thanks for hanging, guys. And the gals. And people. And I don't know what I'm saying. Animals? All right. Yada yada yada, scada scada scada, lambati.